What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Bianca Neri Zone for a daily news video slash match reaction because I was out yesterday, so I couldn't um, made a, I hadn't made a video to talk about the game. So I will do that in this video a little bit, uh, also a bit about the main topic and a bit some extra and some extra info then about the sporting director and stuff like that. Uh, but before we get into it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, because it's, um, it's a big week. We play Sevilla on Thursday. That's probably, that's a big game. You know, that's what we kind of are looking forward to. That's what is very important um, for us and for our season, for next season maybe. Uh, so that's that. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, the game, the game, obviously, we won, it, it, like, I predicted a win, I said 2-1, I said, 2-0 um, at the end, I think overall, um, I think overall we, I think overall we deserved that win, it wasn't, it wasn't, I don't know, it was tough, like, it wasn't a beautiful game to watch, like, not that, but it wasn't the worst game of the season, I think um, it's better than the first game post um, international break. You know, it's a little bit better. There's something more to it. We are we look more dangerous um, in certain situations. That's already uh, an improvement because we look very flat uh, for a lot of games in a row. So that's a positive. I think. I think we didn't give away much to Atalanta. They had a few shots, maybe especially in the first half, where you're like, if they had their shooting boots on, you could have been down. But overall, in the second half, it was just some far shots, shots Chesney should should have and have has dealt with quite easily. Uh, so I'm very, I'm very pleased with that because we were kind of, we were kind of leaking uh, goals or like we were conceding stupid goals and uh, the the main point is we were conceding a lot of chances you know and that wasn't the case against Atalanta so pleased about that uh, as well uh, but the the big win is obviously the guy on the picture is Junior who we were all saying start him play him you know Kostic is dead on his feet and Kostic is dead on his feet because he's played almost everything um Today, or like post-game, Allegri came out and said that Ealing, he said basically after the injury, remember the different Di Francesco tackle? After that injury, he said in training he looked like his cousin. He, <laughs> he didn't look like the real Ealing Jr. And that's why he wasn't playing him. Um, he looked like the quote-unquote real Ealing Jr. when he came on against Bologna. And then we were shocked that he wasn't playing against Lecce at all. And then boom, a start in a big away game which Allegri, you know, loves to do, like Sule with, against Napoli. You don't see Sule and then boom, Napoli at home. Uh, and he played well against Napoli. And Junior played very well against Atalanta. I think the question mark with Julian is, uh, Julian, with <laughs> Junior is, is he good defensively? I think that was, that's always the question mark, you know, because going forward, he's good. I thought he was, I thought he was brilliant defensively, you know, closing in, uh, stepping in, that would, that, I do like about that, uh, him, excuse me, he steps in, he's not scared to step in and leave some space uh, behind him, also because he can recuper recuperate the space, he can make up for that space, which I do like um, about him as well, but on the ball, he's brave, he will take on players, which I do like and appreciate, he's good on the ball, you know, with his feet, he can keep it clean, um, and he brings just a vibe, he just <laughs> brings a different energy, and I think if you play him as a real, real winger, um, don't don't ask him to not defend. I'm not saying don't defend at all, but not as much, especially in that first half. I think he can be a brilliant addition, you know, for the future as well, for the coming years. I do believe that. Will he be a star? I don't know. You know, you could say no in the comments or like personally your opinion. You could say yes in the comments. I don't know. We need to see. But he brings something uh, which... I think we lack with Kostic because they're different type of players. 
And then the goal, you know, he set up the, the attack with stepping, winning the ball, playing it, following it through, took it good, and yeah, happy. Just just really happy for him, um, uh, especially for him, yeah. Really, really happy because I think he deserves that. Post game, he said, I'm not going to the World Cup with the under-23s because uh, I decided to stay here uh, and help the team. Then he said, I hope I also play because I stay. Uh, and I think you deserve to play because under-20s, you might say, oh, it's not a big deal. Sule thinks it's a big deal. He's going. Uh, but Junior is saying, no, I'm staying, uh, which I think is, yeah, is, is really telling. You know, I was kind of surprised that he said that post game, but really happy for him as well. Um, then the main story of the game, obviously, is what happened in the la- in the final minutes, which was a, is a disgrace. You know, what happened, the way it was handled by the ref was shocking it was absolutely laughable so he stopped play for two minutes and then he added the time on like it wasn't our fault you know it's it's atalanta's fault no added time and then on the added time he was adding more time which was absolutely ridiculous but the most messed up part is when vlaovic scored he was running towards vlaovic to stop him go celebrate with the fans you know uh, in front of the fans and when he did, he was running towards it. Vlaovic said to Kiesa because Kiesa was calling him to go celebrate in front of the Atlanta fans. Vlaovic was no, no, just like that. Take a step back and celebrate with the with the own players, with the group. And still, he got yellow carded. You know, it's I, I, I just can't explain it. I, I just can't not explain why he got yellow carded. The at a time stuff was absolutely madness because it's not our fault; it's their fault. There's fault. And even on top of the added time he added, on the added time, he was playing on. It was ridiculous. It was really weird. But that's Italy for you in a nutshell. But Vlaovic, really happy for him as well. You know, uh, a few minutes before that, he should have should have scored or should have done better than just hit the goalkeeper straight. Uh, but that goal was brilliant. You know, he took it just, <laughs> just excellent. You know, you couldn't hit the ball better with confidence. I, like that's him, you know. He can he can play. He can shoot like that, if the confidence is up. Also, what I did like about the game, and maybe it's reaching. Chiesa, his speed is kind of coming back little by little because on that counter attack, he ran with the ball and he was too fast for the other guy who came on, who's really quick as well. Um, both on fresh leg, so that's a positive. But overall, key win. Four top four. If you believe we can get top four through the league, so no points deduction, uh, which I don't believe is going to be the case. I think we will get deducted point. I, I do believe that's going to happen uh, because um, they said so. They said 15 is too much, but so they're going to deduct points. They're going to do it when they know how many points they will deduct. Now, the club can still appeal it and then it will be a, a little bomb under the league. But in a nutshell... Top four is in your own hands. I think it's four points of Milan, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it four points? Let me check because I'm a bit all over the place. Uh, I, th- I thought it was four points. We have 66. So five points. Are we, we are five points in front of Milan. So four games. You play Milan. You can still lose that game, quote-unquote. But you have Empoli, Udinese... And Cremonese. Cremonese are doing well in the last seven games. I think they didn't lose a game. Empoli and Cremonese are fighting for relegation, especially Cremonese, but Empoli as well uh, in a couple of weeks, basically. Not easy games, but you should win those games. So it's all on your own in your own hands to make top four. If you beat Milan, it will probably happen for sure. Um, but yeah, very important win to cement your place in the top four. If you believe, again, points deduction will not happen, all those things. That being said, Thursday, Sevilla, probably the quote-unquote easiest way to get into Europa League. If you, I think it's more unlikely that the UEFA will punish us than the Italian Federation, in my opinion. The wage thing, all those things, and especially for next season, for the following season, you know. And if you can bridge a season, maybe with fines and whatever agreements, blah, blah, blah. So I do believe the UEFA is key, and... It's Sevilla at home. 
You didn't do it really against Mount. You didn't do it against Freiburg. You need to make the difference at home. And I have a feeling, maybe I'm jinxing it. I have a feeling, and excuse me for my voice, by the way. It's very low, I know. But I have a feeling we will make a difference at home against Sevilla and finally take a two-goal lead into a return like in the semifinal. I do believe that. Now, that being said, it was a good weekend. You know, it was a good weekend because Inter won and Milan won. So the pressure was on and we did the same thing. You know, in a game, probably a lot of people were like, eh, I predicted a win. I had a feeling, but it wasn't confidence. I wasn't about saying I'm 100% sure. But overall, it was a clean win, deserved win, in my opinion. So that's good at heading into uh, Sevilla. You know, Junior on the goal uh, score, score sheet, Vlaovic back to back. Good. Positive, positivity a little bit for the last four, seven, depending how many games we play, games of the season. So that's that. Um, so yeah, overall, good. Let's see on Thursday. Um, we will probably discuss the Junto Lee news more and more this week because it seems very, very likely that, that he and his main scout, you know, who we col- collapse with at Napoli, are joining UV now. Media is pushing it now. The way he speaks post game, uh, Napoli feels like he's he's going to leave. It's not certain, but I think that's the main target, and that's what the club is going for now. But we will probably discuss that this week, uh, if not the following weeks. But especially the Sevilla game, that is key this week. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me know in the comments what you think about um, the game as well. Sevilla, Junior, especially Junior, and. Um, Overall, the team going into the final five, six, depending, again, the final, how many games you'll play. What is your feeling? Because post-World Cup break, until basically this Atlanta game, it wasn't a very... It was very hard to be very optimistic when you saw what what the product was out there, in my opinion. But again, let me know, and I will speak to you again probably live today, tonight. So, uh, see ya. Tchau.